What's up, guys? John Alonzo reporting to you from D.C. at the Black Cat. Look, tonight, man, this band I'll be interviewing, they debuted in London, 1976. They were the first British punk band to make the charts with their single and their album, New Rose and Damn Damn Damn. They're also the first British punk band to the United States. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, The Damned. Hey man, Johnny Alonzo again. I'm here at the Black Cat. I'm backstage here in Washington, D.C. And I, uh, my first interview tonight is with now a good friend of mine, Monty Oxymoron. Monty, how are you, man? Oh, I'm fine, thanks. Good to see you, man. Yeah. And uh, hey, welcome back to the States. Oh, thank you very much. Of course. Now, congratulations on this damn tour. I mean, you, you know, the damn has been around for about 35 years now. This is the 35th year of reunion. Um, tell me, you guys are pulling from two albums in particular, um, Damn, Damn, Damn and the Black Album. What is the, re uh, the reaction so far for, you know, for this leg of the tour? Well, it seems to be very good. Everyone seems to be very appreciative. Um, yeah. I mean, even last night, you know, we played we played the whole of Curtain Call, and uh, they really they seem to really like the the, the middle section, the way it comes back in, and yeah. everything, yeah. which is great. You know, because uh, we love we like playing it. Well, it's fun. I was just talking to Pinch, and uh, I, I mentioned Curtain Call is one of me, one of my favorite songs off the Black Album, and he said you're playing the entire what 18 minutes. That's right, we are indeed. It's like a Beatles set. Yeah. <laughs> So wait a minute, you just played New York City last night, and then before that it was Boston. And um, I know you only have nine dates, so um, it's very limited here in the States. I mean, are you going to have more shows back home? Yeah, almost immediately. I think there's just one day <laughs> off, and uh, then we're, we're, we're off to Bristol and round, round Britain. Really? Yeah. Really? I mean, you must be tired already. I am. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, pretend. <laughs> no, not, not at all. So when, when it comes to um, the crowd's reaction, I mean, I know they've been very receptive. I've been reading stuff online, and congratulations again on this 35th reunion. My point, um, the crowd, I mean, and the reaction to the music, I mean, has, has anybody ever tried calling out other songs from, like, let's say, Machine Gun Etiquette or some of the other albums? Yeah, I noticed someone asking for Love Song last night, and uh, fortunately they got it at the end. Oh, so really? uh, they came back on and did, did that. So, really? Yeah. <laughs> I might have thrown my two cents in later, too, then. <laughs> So when it comes to Damn, 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 you, well, are you going to be playing most of the songs or all of the, of the songs? Um, we're playing, <laughs> I can say, play most of most, most of Damn, of them, Damn, okay. Damn. Yeah. So it's very selected tonight. Then. Yeah. You know, you're not doing like one through nine on each album or one through ten. But we're doing all of the Black Album. You are doing all of the Black Album. Oh, that's Therapy. Yep. It's one of my favorites off the album. And of course, Blackout, Wait for the Blackout. Uh, you know? Yeah, therapy's fun, actually. It's, yeah. inter it's interesting for me. So I'm helping Cap out with some of the... Uh, Overdubs because he obviously can't do well, two guitars well, at the same time. Well, you kind of like the uh, piano as well. <laughs> you're kind of like the the man in the center. I mean, you're the one that kind of like plays through other instruments as well, right? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I, do, I, I play percussion and as well, and, and anything. I, can, I, I like playing objects that don't uh, aren't designed for music as well. If I can <laughs> get something out of it. <laughs> Banging on like a mic stand or something. All, all kinds of th all kinds of things. Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm very into uh, free improvised music nice. back home in Brighton. That's so uh, we do a lot of that. Well, let me ask you, man. I mean, you're in Brighton as you just said, and now Dave's outside of London, correct? And Pinch is in San Diego. Mm -hmm. How do you guys, first of all, find time to rehearse, and where do you rehearse? Well, we managed it. We did four days re uh, rehearsal. Pinch came over and we, we, we did it. Nice. Everyone turned up and it was good. Yeah. <laughs> did you guys have to relearn these songs? Uh, well, some of them, yeah. We hadn't played them at all before. Of course. Uh, yeah, it's quite, quite a few. Yeah. And then also I was just joining up. Uh, the songs because uh, um, usually we just play you know we, we don't join songs together we usually just play you know scattering yeah. and stop each time sure. whereas there's some which just go from one to the next to the next and it works better that way of so course. we just okay. we just do that and uh, that's 
quite it, it take, requires quite a lot of concentration because <laughs> I've got to be on the ball for you know what sounds coming next and what you know and, and you know to, so it's ready. Right. Uh, <laughs> well, you've been now with this stretch of the dam for close to 16 years, if I'm not mistaken. Right. That's right. right yeah. Right. Yeah. 16 years. What is it like being a damned member? Well, it's great. I still I still really enjoy it. You do? Um, yeah, definitely. Yeah. I, I, I find I don't I don't get tired of the songs or anything. Yeah. It always seems quite fresh and everything. Really, really. Now, do you have anything in the works? I mean, beyond the damned. I mean, I, I know this is a big project, but I mean, are you writing for other people? or Are you doing anything else? I do. Um, like I say, I'm involved in the free improvised oh, music scene anywhere. in Brighton, and I meet various. I've got various. There are various musicians who are doing different things. Sure. You know, ask me to play with them. Sure. So there's, there's that, and there's a band called the Sumerian Kings, which I'm involved in as well in okay. Brighton. Nice. Which is kind of a bit, kind of, bit Captain Beefheart-like, really? I suppose. Yes, nice. Yeah, so. nice. And, uh, so you're all over the map. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> From the dam to Beefheart style music, yeah. it's wonderful. If they wanted to find you other than on the dam website, do you have anything else that you want to shout out to uh, for uh, social media? Oh, well, I do, I do have, gosh, I do, I do have a MySpace. I've got some of my songs on there. Good, good, good. We'll look uh, it up. And I've got, a, I've got a download album available on AWOL, I think it is, um, Artists Without a Label. Of course. For, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, for download only. That's nice. there. Nice. And my two first albums are on uh, Last FM. Really? On Last yeah, FM? Yeah, they're just for people to listen to if they want they can hear them Fantastic. there. Well, I'll be sure to get Zeb to put credits up for you on that as well. Yeah. And listen, hey, good luck tonight. We'll, we, uh, we'll be getting some B-roll of your show, and I'll see you after the show as well. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Monty. Thank you. Wonderful. Right. Take care. Thank you. opening act. The dam's going to be on in about 15 minutes, but before we actually get into the interviews and B-roll with the dam, I've hooked up with four friends of mine here in D.C. Guys, introduce yourselves. I'm Gabby. I'm from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I'm Sean. I'm from Greensburg, Pennsylvania. I'm Adrian. I'm from Greensburg, Pennsylvania. Bob? You see what we're saying? We don't have business people here from Baltimore. We have people from D.C. We have people here from Pennsylvania. You got guys here from California. Listen. You've been a damn fan for a while. Tell me about your your likes and your dislikes about the damn. I love the damn. I don't have any dislikes. They're pretty awesome. You can't, can you? Yeah, I know, right? There's they're no, pretty rad. So. No way. Yeah, totally. So. Bro, they're playing two different albums tonight. Black Album and Damn, Damn, Damn. What are your thoughts about that? Uh, it's fantastic. I love their older stuff a lot better than their newer stuff, but it's still great to hear anything by them. Totally. Yeah, I mean, it's fantastic. And they canceled on us a couple of times, so it's good to get to see them. Really? Yeah. Well, here you are tonight. Yeah, yeah. Now listen, I know they're going to be playing just the two albums I just said. What did you think of their, early, their later stuff, their goth stuff? Did you like their goth, their Phantasmagoria album and such? Yeah, I actually like it, but I, their earlier stuff I like better. Like, Damn 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 was like my favorite album by them. So that's actually what I'm looking forward to hearing the most. So you're definitely a damn fan. Yes, definitely, for sure. And you, Mrs. Susie and the Banshees over here. I was just talking about the goth scene. I mean, did you also like them in the goth style as well? The goth style of Phantasmagoria, yes. yes. Wait, they're going to be on in about, what, 15 minutes. What do you think this opening act right now? Do you like them? Yeah, they're pretty awesome. awesome. Yeah, they're really cool. And you all look great, by the way. <laughs> Come back into Baltimore, DC. I always run into a bunch of friends, and let me tell you, I have a very good friend of mine. Me, Will. How are you? I'm doing good, sir. Good, good to, to see, see you. Again. You look great in the hat. Oh, thank you very much. That hat has gotten more ass than anybody in Baltimore. It's my mojo, baby. <laughs> it it's is your mojo. mojo. It is. Listen, we're here at the Black Cat. First of all, great venue. Oh, beautiful place. Yes. It's yes awesome. Yes. Now, I didn't know you were coming out tonight. I mean, no, tell no, no, it's a total surprise. I, I had no intention of coming out here. My yeah. friend Kelly, her uh, boyfriend, bailed out tonight. She yeah. called me at two thirty this afternoon. I was like, oh hell yeah, I'm coming down. <laughs> There's no way. Now you're a fan, obviously. Of, the of day, course, right? I'm a fan. I mean, the, the Sex Pistols changed my whole life. The Damned opened up with Sex Pistols. That whole thing changed my entire outlook on music Sweet. when I was a, a young child. So of course, yeah. Of but the main reason I'm here is to see my good friend Johnny Lonzo. Oh my of God, course. You see how I 
He didn't just endorse me. I actually flipped some yeah, bills yeah, for him. Yeah, I, had to, I had to tip this guy out. Listen, they're going to be on in about 10 minutes. So you're going to be here for the rest of the show. Oh, oh yeah. You know, yeah they're, they're, you know they're only playing two different albums. They're playing the Damn, Damn, Damn and the Black Album. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't, the, the I early can't stuff's wait great. for the show. It's, it's, it's yes. Neat, neat, neat. I mean, come on, come people. On, you can't go wrong with that in New yeah, Road. Yeah. That's for sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah and, oh, yeah. Paisan, I will see you upstairs. Paisan, good, hey, good. good to see you. Nice to see you, sir. You Take it, care. Thank you. Good luck. We'll be upstairs in a minute. Cool, man. Back outside of the Black Cat in Washington, D.C. This is Johnny Alonzo. I'm reporting to you live. Guys, please introduce yourselves. I'm Seth. Seth. I'm Patricia. Nice to meet you guys. Thank you for getting on the show. Yeah. Listen, I just pulled you guys out of line. I'm sorry. I'm going to get you guys in in a second. You've been damn fans for, I'm, I'm just going to assume, for a very long time. Yes. What is your impression with tonight's show? Uh, it sounds like it's going to be great. It's going to be sick, right? Oh, gosh, yes. Yes? Looking way forward to it. Totally, man. How long have you guys loved the, the, the damn? Since strawberries. <laughs> Strawberries for pigs. It's going to be a very... <laughs> wow, you go way back. Way back. They're only playing two albums. They're playing Damn, Damn, Damn and uh, the Black Album, right? And I, from that album, I found out more of their albums and went, hey, these guys rule. That's, that's how it works, right? What's your favorite song off the, uh, either of the two albums? Can you think of one? Uh, Waiting for the Blackout. That's the, one of the best. I love that and I love Therapy. One yes. of the greatest. Now, I know that the Damned, I mean, if you remember, they had their goth, their goth uh, years, mm -hmm. which kind of remind me with the beautiful Dave Vanian, right? Oh, yeah, what, do you, what was your impression with, the, with their, their whole gothic albums, like Phantasmagoria and such? I liked it. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. He's I mean, not, he likes the old school stuff more. Do you? But I'm a like sensible fan. Yeah. You're a sensible fan. Yeah, I'm a sensible yeah, fan. Yeah, so. he's, he's the best. In fact, I'm, we're interviewing him later on this evening. Point is, tonight, are you going to be screaming out for like Love Song and everything else that's not going to be showing up on, on the other two albums? No, I've been listening to the last two. The, that two albums have been playing yeah. all week at work. So <laughs> I'm just jacked to hear those two albums. Because the Black Album is my favorite album. It's great. I just spoke to Monty, and Monty said he's going to be pl they're playing Curtain Call tonight. Yes. yes. 18 minutes of it. I'm yes. looking forward to that. Who isn't looking forward to it? Yes. Right? It's going to be sick. And are you guys from D.C.? Uh, yes. Really? D.C. local? Yes. yes. Fantastic. Well, listen, get back in line before it gets too long. It was so nice talking to you. Thank you. I will see you inside. Yes. Thank you. Nice to you. Pleasure. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Guys, I have the honor after the show, and Captain is very, very tired. Guys, I want to introduce you to Captain Sensible. How are you, man? <laughs> not, too, not too bad, actually. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> what a great show you had. Welcome back to Washington, D.C., our nation's capital, man. Oh, that's really sweet of you. Oh, you're quite welcome, man. You should know that by that. It was, it was, it was a great show. Great packed crowd. Everybody had a good time. Listen, congrats on 35 years on this, uh, this uh, what do you call it, anniversary? Yeah, very. Yeah. It's nice to have survived 30, 35 years, not just as a band, but as you know, as uh, walking, talking human entities. You know, rather than being in, in early grave and all that sort of thing, because we uh, we lived a fairly debauched lifestyle a few years back. Not anymore, you know. Of course, of course. I mean, you know, that's about my, the extent of it for me. But um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, did you think the dam would actually stretch this long? No, not at all. No, no absolutely not, no. because. Um, it's not everyone's cup of tea, is it? You no, know. No, I guess. Not, right? <laughs> well, we, we had we had a bleak period, I think, in the uh, in the eighties when um, you know disco was, uh, dance music was everywhere, and it was like, and and everyone. I mean, it's a kind of punk rock thing, but you know, you can buy these um, DJ boxes and you press a button and the song comes out. You know. Yeah. And it's, uh, it's very easy. Everyone's going around. You know, instead of uh, kids walking around with uh, guitars, yeah. you know, uh, everyone's going around with headphones. Well, really. Headphones and boombox, right? Yeah. <laughs> so uh, that wasn't good for the dam because uh, we're a guitar band, you know. But um, <laughs> Well, let me cut into the chase. This tour, I mean, it's pretty limited. You can drink, by the way, if you want to. Turn this into, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> You're quite welcome. <laughs> I was trying to pass you my beer on stage. This tour is pretty limited. You only have nine, uh, nine dates in the U.S., correct? And you just played New York City. How was the, what was the reaction like? And, um, I mean, how, how was the crowd? I mean, how did they react uh, to seeing The Damned again in 2011? 
Well, it's um, it's kind of um, it's kind of nice to see. Uh, I mean, I'm, we're wondering what we're doing right all of a sudden, you know, because um, it's been a it's been a strange roller coaster of a career. Sure. We're not actually. Uh, it's very nice of you to interview us, so, but we're not kind of you know the rock, one of these rock star bands that makes like mega bucks or well, to us you are triple triple platinum albums or anything like that. But it's just nice to uh, we blunder through uh, life. Sure. Uh, if you can call it uh, showbiz or whatever you want to call it, punk rock or um, of course, whatever. We do it without any help whatsoever from um, the media and uh, sure. from uh, DJs and all that sort of thing. So, sure. you know, Coldplay, uh, everyone knows about them. But, the, you know, <laughs> we're about a million times better than those cunt, <laughs> than, the, than those fucking wankers. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me ask you, man. I mean, is there a message today? I mean, I know music has changed, man, but I mean, I mean, does the damned have a message with their music this e- yeah, tonight? The mess- well, I don't know. Yeah. It's, that's a big question. Sure. Um, because musically, we, uh, we're a kind of garage punk band. And, yeah, of course. And, um, you know, it's, it's frenetic and exciting and full of riffs and stuff like that. But yeah, um, you know, if, do we have a message? Mm-hmm. Well, I don't know. Well, yesterday I was down Union Square supporting the Wall Street demonstrators, and I think that's fairly important at the moment yes. because uh, because um, I think capitalism capitalism's gone completely insane and uh, wow. doesn't doesn't seem to make a lot of sense anymore. Sure, man. Well, the damned itself. Okay, well, let me ask you a question: Did it ever turn into a project with you, or has the music always been as exciting to play since the day it was new? Seriously. Well, I, I don't know. You see, the thing is, I um, people think I'm daft because I actually really enjoy what I do. But it's you know, I mean, you see some people, some guitarists, yeah. and they, you know, they're moaning backstage, or you see them do an interview. Everything's like you know, the, the weight of the world is on their shoulders. Nothing's good enough. Everything, sure. you know, one day, you know, you know the people I'm talking about. These guitarists who don't smile much and uh, they shoegazers. Yeah, but, you know, Eric Clapton, for example, <laughs> Paul Weller even, you know, put a smile on your face, you wankers, you know, you've got the best job in the world, you're making stacks and stacks of money, Yeah. you know, what is there to moan about? Yeah, come on, give us a break, right? Yeah, <laughs> but no, I, I, I actually like doing this, I mean, yeah. well, why not? It's brilliant fun. Of course, of course. I mean, we, we, we watched you tonight, your show was amazing. Everyone here in D.C. loved the show tonight. Seriously, it was, it was great. It was fantastic. And I hope you had a good time tonight. I did, yeah. Did. So I've got this little Lord Fauntleroy suit. So, um, <laughs> I don't know if you know Gainsborough's painting, The Blue Boy. No, you, have, you have to Google it. I will. But I, I said, I, I want that, you want that outfit. <laughs> but it was, it's a little joke, really, uh, yeah. for an ex-girlfriend who call, used to call me a little Lord Fauntleroy because I used to stamp my feet and say, I want, <laughs> I, I I want, want ice outfit, cream, boy. I want ice cream. <laughs> Last question before I let you go, man. I had to ask you because somebody asked me this in the general audience. What was it like being kind of spotlighted on that wicked TV series, The Young Ones, when you were on there with Video Nasty? Yeah. Do you remember that? Yeah, I do. I, I remember it well um, because uh, we all went for curry afterwards and uh, yeah. with the uh, the Young Ones guys. Of course. And um, we see. I mean, the, the thing is, in Britain, I don't know if you do this over here, uh-huh. but in Britain, going for a curry is a ritual. Yes. And it's, it doesn't it just involve the, the beauty of the, you know, the, the curry and the food and the spices and all that sort of thing. It involves quite a lot of drinking and, and quite often behaving badly as well. People go for a curry after, you know, if you go to a football match, you drink a lot, you, then you, sure. instead of like going home and sleeping it off, you go for a curry, you know, and, and you, you extend the... Uh, <laughs> Stupid, stupid. The, the, the uh, evening. <laughs> yeah, so, so anyway, we, we, we did. We went out uh, for a curry with the young ones guys and yeah. behaved extremely badly and got thrown out of the, uh, of the restaurant. <laughs> um, well, it, I remember the band being like a five-piece damned, if I remember watching the video. Am I mistaken? Yes, that's yeah, right. Yeah. With Roman and, um, yeah. You were Roman, Roman and, and all those guys, yeah. Man. I mean, it, it, dude, that is one of our favorite episodes to date. Seriously. And I know, Captain, you are exhausted. I will see you in San Diego when I see you at the House of Blues. That's at the end of this tour. And we're very, very excited to see you out there. Guys, Captain Sensible from The Damned, thank you so much. Yeah, cheers. You are awesome. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. I've had a very dubious and... Uh, 
strange career, and uh, can I have the money now? <laughs> <laughs> Talk to my producer. If you don't mind saying, this is Captain Sensible from Click, and you're watching Click on This. This is Captain Sensible on Click, and you're watching Click on This. Thank you, mate. Not off, <laughs> pot pickers. <laughs>